Hey guys, in the garage today, we're building the drop boards in the city. You can see I've got one laid out behind me. Let me show you what's going on here. Okay, here's the one I'm working on. This is 3H MDO. I've got one factory edge that lines up really, really well. So I'm using that. These are the old pieces that I'm replacing here. Drawing a line with a pen around the edge. Template it onto the old material. This strap I have is just a piece of aluminum from a hardware store. It's nothing special. It is six inch by one inch. Pretty flexible. So I've been using it as a straight edge to reestablish these missing pieces and carry lines out. And because it's a little bit flexible, I'm also able to use it this way. Kind of wrap it around an existing plane and reestablish a curved edge like that. So this has a couple of drop boards to access the locker space under the settee. So I have templated these rings at a three quarter inch wide that I'm going to probably replace, but I need to at least knock them off. Use those as templates, if not paint them with epoxy so they are watertight and, and maybe we install them. You will see. I just templated that edge. It's actually recessed a half inch under here, all the way around. This is the lip the drop board drops onto, just like this. So I need to knock this off of here now and cut out this new plywood. But I want to lay this back over in its proper location so that I can template this back edge here on the surface of the material. I've got a whole pile of them here. Here's the one out of the quarter berth. Same setup. Rebuild it in the same manner. There's the original drop boards from the one I'm working on. This is also 3-8, this material. A few more pieces of MBO half inch over there to rebuild the uh, port sides of the But it has this step here and this piece that lays on top of here slides out to make the, the double berth. Now you can see I've drilled holes in these backs here for ventilation. I'm gonna do the same thing with these drop boards. There's a mesh that goes on top of this. It just allows a little bit of air to flow through the cushion and drop off the settee. And in that way, good ventilation and lockers, and they should get all damp and moldy. This one's cut out. I cut out the first two drop boards, it's access to the area under the settee. So I don't have this trim ring here. It's one of the reasons why I didn't cut out this third one. But also, I've just added this. So I need to make sure that it will work before I actually go and cut it out. I don't see why it wouldn't. It doesn't seem right to have such a large area without access. So I just made another one exactly like that one. And I centered it in the opening. Um, I didn't go further toward the hall because it's fairly thin back there. And I think it can reach through and grab anything in the store or anything. The one thing I wanted to show you is how I go about reinstalling these. I take my drop board that I have cut. I lay it back in the hole the way it came out. Now I have that line I drew around the edge. So I can take my trim piece. You can see the blue marks here, this side down. And also I had a double triple check against my original template to make sure I was actually located on the correct side. So you're looking at the top of the team there and the bottom of it here and now. I can simply line it up just like that with the lines underneath on the locker drop board. And now I can attach this in place. And this guy is essentially ready to go. I'm going to trial fit it. Everything is going to get coated with epoxy. I'm not going to have anything in this boat that could potentially get wet should there be a leak. Basically it'll be encased in plastic and waterproof should it ever get wet. And that should prevent what happened before with uh, this rotting stuff here. Also when I do it the way I'm talking about doing it by assembling it, installing it, test fitting everything, pull it apart again, and then epoxy. Even the screw holes are going to have a bit of epoxy. 
Now there's the uh, drop board for the starboard side. Now I'm getting into this. This is half inch on this side. And it has a few things going on. First of all, there are two layers. Satee opens up into a double. This thing slides out like that. There's a leg that goes underneath here. And then it gives access to these two here. However, if you look close here, there's a half inch piece. And then there is another 3 16 And because of this doing what it does, there's not a lot here on the edge at pointing toward the center of the saloon. And then there is a tiny little bulkhead along this joint underneath. And it opens up into another compartment here. And just like that. So now I need to try to figure out how to make these pieces. This one's easy, but because I can't get this one apart, so you can kind of see what's going on, on the underside of this piece, it steps where it goes into the hull. So I need to build this piece. I need to locate the joint underneath here and the joint underneath here. I'm not sure they're the same on both ends. I can make a few pieces, and then I'm gonna need to take some measurements to figure out how to essentially reassemble this whole arrangement here. Uh, there was originally a water tank underneath there. I removed it. I'm using this side for storage. I don't really want a water tank here. I'm gonna build these pieces, and then I'm gonna try to figure out how to line everything up and put it together just like it was. You can see uh, the drop boards and the hatches to get into the lockers behind both settees behind me. Let's have a look. Well, it took a little bit of thought, but saving all these old pieces here, very helpful. All the old templating materials, those are all now scrap. So I showed you this piece here on the starboard side with a couple of access patches to get into the lockers. On the port side, the double berth. So this uh, access panel here comes out. Whoops! It's gonna try to fall down on me. Just kind of balanced here. Originally, there was a through hole there that went to the the head, but now that it's a composting toilet, you might end up using it for a through hole for the water makers. Two layers of half, two more locker access hatches, what used to be the secondary water tank, and then this piece, it just slides back and forth to close that gap, turns it from a single into a double. It's supposed to be, I thought it was 3 16ths, but about a quarter inch more material on that face on that bottom panel, so it kind of lifts everything up. Um, before I put that on there, I'm actually going to have a look at how this fits. Uh, I'm not going to permanently attach them. I'm just going to loosely drop them in place for now, and that will enable me to fit everything up. And it'll also give me a place to lay a mattress out or a sleeping pad this winter, so I can spend the night over there and continue working. That's the plan anyway. Yeah, it's coming together. So I got one more piece to build. This is the quarter berth. Same thing. But I don't have the material here for that tonight. I do have one more uh, intercoastal bulkhead on starboard. The one that would go right underneath here, down to the hull. That one's rotten, so I need to replace that piece. But I don't have anything long enough here at the moment. That was another piece of half inch. That should finish up some of the more macro things on the boat. This hull is going to have uh, three quarters to an inch of insulation. Uh, knock down the condensation. 
Hopefully keep it a little cooler in the summer, make it a little hotter in the winter. A little quieter too, I imagine, but water lapping against the hull, but that, no, I don't see that as a positive. I don't like hearing all those noises. But there it is. Next piece of the project.